Hey guys, this is Josh with your monthly limit theory development update. I got a whole lot of progress from February to show you. I'm really excited about it, but uh, there's a lot to show, so I hope you don't mind if I talk fast at times. So I want to preface this by saying throughout this demo you're going to be hearing some sound effects, and I'm very excited to show you some sound effects because I've been working with a sound effect artist uh, this month, and he's done some great preliminary work. We've got you know, just just a small sampling of sounds right now, but you know, that's just going to continue to grow, and I'm, I'm just happy to have sound at all. It's, it makes it feel much more like a game, so excited about that. I've just pulled up the top bar, which is a, a new interface thing, and I'm going to show you some of the interface work that has happened this month. This is going to be your go-to bar for pulling up other interfaces. Um, and of course, it's all very subject to change. Those icons are very rough, but right now I'm going to pull up the ship viewer. So here you can see your ship in isolation, and uh, you can see the components attached to it. Of course, there's nothing attached to my ship right now. Uh, those little boxes up there are for hard points, but th that's very rough. Not done yet. And I just pulled up the inventory. So this is my concept of what an inventory might look like. It's just a, a scrollable panel. And very simple, but clean. I'm sure it's going to get better. Right now you can see I've got a bunch of different weapons in my inventory. And if I click, it expands, and I can see information about that specific item that's in my cargo. Uh, again, those those icons are very rough preliminary mockups. Don't worry too much about them. So right now I'm going to equip one of these weapons, a little pulse laser. And uh, notice I just dragged it onto the hard point. You can see that it is now actually on the ship. And I'm going to take that for a test drive. Okay, and you can hear, for the first time ever, a little pulse laser sound, pew pew, very classic pew pew sound. Gonna equip another one. Cool, so we're shooting. Now just a quick note, although in this demo I'm gonna be equipping things, um, you know, on the fly, that's that's not actually possible. You have to be docked to refit your ship, but it, it'll work the same way that I'm showing you now, just you won't be doing it in space. This is just for the purpose of this demo. Because, you know, as always, I like to show you things that you won't be able to do. Just kidding. So that was a bigger laser, but now I'm going to show you a missile. And missiles are new this month, or at least the, the new implementation of missiles are new. I love missiles. I hope you like them. Here we go. Boom. Here's a missile. Pretty cool. They're, personally, I think missiles are my favorite weapon type in this game. And they have some unique properties. Like, well, obviously, they're going to require ammo, unlike energy-based weapons. But they also have substantially more range, which means, uh, you know, long, long-range bombardment with missiles is very much a viable tactic. Gonna equip a few more of these. Yeah, so I think missiles are just too much fun. All right, um, now I'm gonna show you the command interface. So you saw the very rough mock-up version of it last month, and here it is now. Graphically speaking, of course, it's hopefully you can tell it's looking a whole lot better. It's still got that same holographic feel to it, but uh, it's it's much more detailed now. And, and you can also see that I've got icons for ships, which makes it much easier to tell, you know, hey, there's a ship there. And the icon type will, of course, correspond to the class of the ship. So those little dots are fighters, and that that wheel-looking thing, I'm not exactly sure what that is might be like a cruiser or something. Don't know yet. I'm going to show you that you can change the color of the command interface. It's just a little little fun thing. You know, I really want to give the ability to customize every piece of this game. And this is just <laughs> a fun little piece that you can customize, you know, so you can command in, uh, in hot pink if that's your thing. Personally, I think I'll be commanding in blue. Kind of a classic Star Wars feel, but, you know, do whatever you want. And now I'm going to show you the solid rendering mode for the command interface. I added this this month because I I do love the normal look of the world, and holographic look is, is very cool for sure, but 
I think it's cool to be able to see the world as it really looks in the command interface as well. So using this render mode you can, you know, examine what things really look like. So, you know, you can choose whichever one you want. You can tab between them easily. I imagine that for actually, you know, doing fleet engagements, it's, it's easier with the holographic style because it's just cleaner and simpler, less clutter, but if you're, if you're more about the beauty of the world, then this view will please you more. Alright, next up I want to go ahead and talk about power distribution. Another new feature this month, so uh, I'm going to pull up the interface for power distribution. As I've mentioned in, in various places, I do want you to be able to control the way in which power flows to the various subsystems of your ship, and here's my initial concept for what that interface would look like. Of course, it'll get much prettier, but right now it's already functional. And you can see there's sort of an icon indicating which subsystem I'm looking at, and then there's a slider that I can use to control the power level, and then there's text that tells me what the current power level is. So I've just basically disabled my thrusters, and notice that the pulse weapons now are firing much faster. You can see, look at that, yeah, way faster. So they're currently overcharged to 240% power, which translates into an increased rate of fire for pulse weapons at least. Now note that there are diminishing returns in terms of overcharging systems, so it is still more advantageous to just have a lot of weapons and have them running at 100% versus having a few and having them, you know, way overclocked. But nonetheless, it does give you some flexibility in, in routing power during battle. So right now I've, I've put all the power to the engines and obviously I'm going significantly faster than before. You can see the thruster trails are bigger. Now notice that my missiles this whole time have not been affected at all by the power distribution. In fact, they don't even appear on that grid that I showed uh, because missiles are not a powered subsystem in the same sense uh, that thrusters and pulse weapons are. So that's, that's another interesting trade-off of using projectile-based weapons uh, like, like missiles is the fact that you don't have to worry about energy distribution and you don't have to waste any energy on, them. On, on the on the flip side you do have to waste cargo space because of the fact you have to carry ammunition so it's just another trade-off to think about whichever way suits your play style So I'm going to show you that you can change the opacity of the interface now, so if you like a more glassy interface look, you can have that highly transparent. Or if you want a very solid look, you can do that too. Of course, the interface is going to, going to look better over time. But it's always going to stay pretty clean and simple, because I like that concept. Now I'm going to show you uh, the, the dynamic music which is something I've been working on a little bit this month. Notice that as I drag that tension slider over, the music is starting to feel, well, more tense. It's feeling a little bit more like combat music. And this track is just a very rough mock-up that you're hearing, so it's pretty low quality, but it demonstrates the idea that the music is gonna continuously change to fit the, the mood, you know, if you're approaching enemies it's going to feel more tense and if you're in full-on combat then of course it's going to be battle music but the point is that it's a continuous variation it's not just like you know a combat piece starts and then ends it's it's like the same track is flowing through these different moods it's it's the same system really that was used in freelancer and i i really love that effect because there's this continuity yet the music still matches the mood so we'll have that in Limit Theory. All right, I'm gonna go say hello to these other ships now, if I can find them. There they are. 
I wish I had a little bit more to show in terms of ships and the AI behavior, but I have spent a whole lot of time this month on the interface and various interface related things. So I'm hoping to do a lot more combat, and in particular AI and AI combat, next month. For now I'll just show some very basic stuff. I'm just going to get this fleet over here to bombard the other fleet. You can see I've got two fleets of a cap ship escorted by fighters. using the command interface, I'm going to order, order one of them to attack the other, just so we can see what that looks like. And, and actually, this, this engagement range is too far for any kind of weapon except missiles, so you're going to see them firing only missile weapons. And so we're going to get to see a missile bombardment, which I, I really enjoy. I think this is very cool. There we go. Oh, so I think it, I think I reversed it. I think I'm actually the one being bombarded. Yep, okay, well, same effect. Oh, shield just went down on that cap ship. That was fast. Yeah, so this is what it feels like when you're up against a very missile-happy fleet. Not really a position you want to be in, because that is a lot of missiles. But, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cinematic. Is the cap ship. So again, that's that's pretty huge range. And your pulse weapons, for example, are just not even going to get anywhere close to being able to hit at that range. So there are advantages to missiles. Come over here to the other side and do it all over again. Oh, and uh, I'm going to pull out this little cheat weapon <laughs> that I put in the demo just for fun. This is a railgun. We actually might have railguns in game. This one is way overpowered though. Yeah, very fun. So I basically just realized that if I made a missile kind of instantaneous, did it. So that's why we have railguns now. It's quite a fun weapon though. I hope to see them in the game. Not nearly as overpowered as this one that I'm showing you now though. Okay, so this time uh, we're going to be on the attacking side of the bombardment, and here we go. Just sit back and watch. Here goes the shield. all I've got to show for February. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hey, I'm excited to start March. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of cool stuff to show for March. And uh, make sure you read the Kickstarter update because there's more information there. And uh, I will see you next month. Thanks for watching.